Hey fam, we've been a bit quiet since the whole last lot of stuff happened. I didn't have anything nice to say about that situation, so we just kind of wanted to process that on our own. Anyway, we seem to be coming out the other end of that. Just focusing on opening our own shop. <laughs> Look at Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, so... Not letting... Being shunned by society again. Not gonna let that get us down. Anymore. We know we're not perfect. We don't expect anyone else to be perfect. He's like, hi, <laughs> you're awake now. Barely, <laughs> but too awake to sleep. <clears throat> too awake to sleep, too asleep to awake. so cold it was not worth it but someone enjoyed it yeah oh she's going gray pretty oh, oh what a time to be alive hmm. so um woke up to some internet hate this morning um, I mean, like, we always do, but generally, like, um, it's the same old stuff. And, um, anyway, we're not worried about it. It's always just, like, the same person that's popped up after a few years of constant, like, um, messaging me on different platforms, commenting on my videos, commenting on TikToks, commenting ex on anything that I post. Without focusing too much on this person, it's more like the thought is, like they chase happiness out of other people's suffering rather than trying to, you know, better, better themselves as a person. It's like they're always looking outside instead of looking in and stuff like that. And my question to these people that have this ongoing, like, for years, some people who have met me since this moved back to my hometown where I have been very unwelcomed by um, a lot of people, but also very welcomed by others. And also, like, I was born here and my family have been here for generations. So uh, my family is not going to let me feel that any more out of place here than um, any other place in the world, which we're... Look at this. Always going to feel a little bit out of place. Anyway, my question to, like, let's call them, like, obsessive haters. It's like this is, obsession is so intense that I'm thinking, like, honestly, in your brain, do you think that you would be happier if I killed myself? Which, like... Obviously, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to let you disrupt my peace anymore. I'm not going to let anyone do that. Like, analysing it and putting pulling that apart, it's like, you probably will, regardless of whether, you know, you are aware of 
of how unhealthy that obsession is very for a very short time probably like oh yeah that person I don't have to worry about that person you don't have to worry about me anyway like I'm not I'm just trying to get by just trying to do me you know <laughs> not trying to hurt anyone unless it's consented and for a tattoo uh. <laughs> yeah it's an interesting thought because like when you think about internet subculture and the amount of people that say kill yourself on the internet and it's like probably shouldn't throw that around fam but it's not just the words of that it's like these ongoing obsessions that people have it's like are you gonna have that till I die are you going to be unhappy the entire time that I work, walk this earth? Even though I don't live in the same state, sometimes even country, as you? Because um, that's sad. And I don't want to hurt you. But I'm not going to kill myself just to make you happy. I'm going to do me. And I have just as much of a right to be here as anyone else. And, um, and oh, you look at us and you're like, you're tiny. Like, what could you do? Then we get in there and we do it better than, like, some of them were doing. Um, that's scary. But, like, I'm not trying to hurt anyone or ruin anyone's position. I'm just trying to, uh, do me. Other people, like, trying to live their life shouldn't disrupt your peace, is what I'm trying to say. Love you all. Please take care out there. Um, don't let anyone destroy your peace. And, um, yeah. Take care. Bye.